away money magnets. Capital One is shutting down credit cards. We haven't seen delinquencies like this since 2008. True. Look, we're going to show you the warning signs and how you can avoid getting yourself in a bad situation with a credit card. Let's go over to this first article by Nerd Wallet. Okay, Marvin. So this right here would became breaking news. Capital yeah. One Walmart card was discontinued. Existing card holders are being moved over to the Quicksilver, but we're going to give you all the information about this. All right. So you guys, what happened? They started shutting down applications for the Capital One Walmart Rewards MasterCard, mm -hmm. as well as for the closed loop Walmart Rewards card that was usable only in Walmart. So both cards are being cut off pretty much. And what they're going to do is transition you over to the Quicksilver Cash Rewards credit card, if you are, even if you already have the card. So it doesn't matter. You're just going to get another Quicksilver card. And they announced this in May of 2024 that they were ending their partnership. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but Walmart used yeah. to be with Synchrony for like 20 years. And Walmart probably needs to get their own car because this keeps happening. Most definitely. I remember reading an article where Walmart actually sued Synchrony Bank. Yeah. So, you know, it seems to be that whoever Walmart goes with, they're having quite a few problems with these different um, banks. Yeah, and what we heard is Capital One was having a hard time with the customer service, their returns. It was like it was a, a log of customer service problems they were having. So that's why Walmart decided to pull out. Well, most definitely, Marvin. And Walmart was really upset about the points. And yeah. you know, guys, I am all about the points. <laughs> so I can understand as a customer, I would be upset as well. But no worries, because guess what? Capital One stated that when they move you over to the Quicksilver, which yeah. they plan on doing and by the end of the year, right. that they're gonna you're gonna keep all of your time. So it won't affect your credit. So that's really important. Yeah, yeah, because if they ended up stopping it and then starting it over, that could hurt your credit as far as the time that you had the credit card. So they say, according to this article, mm -hmm. that the new Capital One Quicksilver MasterCard on a rolling basis, mm -hmm. so not all customers will receive their card at the same time. A Capital One spokesperson confirmed that Quicksilver cards will be sent out beginning in September and throughout early 2025. So don't stop paying your bill because right. guess what? They're still going to be expecting that payment. Yeah, just because one card ends does not mean you don't owe the bill. So make sure you make those payments on time and you make it to the right card. Most definitely. And also, guys, you know, Glory and I, after doing research, were thinking like, is Capital One in trouble? So we started to dig a little deeper in our research. All right, guys, I want you to check out this next article. It says U.S. consumers on lower incomes face loan stress while banks pull back. So what this is basically saying is that mm -hmm. people with lower incomes are suffering right now. Right mm -hmm. now, we have the highest credit card debt in U.S. history. It's like $1.4 We did a video yeah. about this a while ago. Most definitely, Marvin. And, you know, Capital One is known for giving people those low limit right. credit card limits, right. like $500 credit limit or a $1,000 credit limit. And they're starting to see a lot of defaults on, you know, these low limit credit cards. And look, I, look, I hate to say it, Capital One was my very first card when I was a teenager. So I get it. They're going to target lower income and younger people to that are starting their credit over mm -hmm. or getting their credit started. Most so definitely. you're going to have the low income people that end up getting Capital One because a while ago when you went to the car lot, the first person to give you a loan was Capital One. Yeah. And Marvin, you know, Capital One has been good to a lot of people because it was a great way to jumpstart or start building your credit, like you stated. You exactly. Know? And according to this article, it says a growing number of Americans have seen their savings dwindle as yeah. rising prices squeeze budgets while interest rates stay high. Mm -hmm. Bankers and economists said the deterioration of household finances for those earning less than 45000 contrasts with the financial resilience among those of higher incomes. Mm -hmm. That's something to keep in mind because, you know, I noticed that the Capital One mm -hmm. borrowers tend to have a lower income yeah. than, say, an Amex or a Chase. 
let's go over and look at this chart because this chart speaks volume for what's actually going on right now in our economy. Let's do it, Gla. Now, let's take a deep dive into this chart. You know, Marvin, if you look at the chart, it shows that Capital One is the at its highest peak. Yeah. And MX is not very high because MX borrowers are a little bit more seasoned. Right. And they have like a better income. They're in a better income bracket, period. No matter how you look at it. Right. You know? And look, guys, I want you to comment on this. If you got a Capital One and you kind of understand this, Throw something in the chat. Same thing if you're an Amex bar. Mm -hmm. And we're not discriminating one from the other. What we're saying is mm -hmm. get your credit in a better shape so that you can get an Amex or a Chase if you only have a Capital One right now. Because the only difference besides income mm -hmm. is the type of credit score that you have. Most definitely. And, you know, just think about it. We know that right now Capital One is trying to acquire discover yeah yeah and that speaks volume for what's going on capital one will buy discover for 35 billion in a deal that combines major u.s credit card companies we're right. talking about you know two companies coming together right i think what they're trying to do is compete with the big boys because you got to think about it yeah i believe um, don't quote me on this i think discover was my second credit card <laughs> yeah you know so it, it really go, it speaks volumes to say that hey they're going after people starting their credit or mm -hmm. redoing or or somebody that's done credit repair and starting over again. So yeah. now they want to combine this to compete with a Chase or Amex. All right, let's go over this article. Capital One Financial says it will buy mm -hmm. Discover Financial Services for $35 billion mm -hmm. in a deal that will bring together two of the nation's credit card companies as well as potentially shake up the payments industry, which is largely dominated by Visa and MasterCard. Wow. That's deep when you think about it. Yeah. And also, Marvin, they also stated that they're going to buy this company with stocks. Right. You know, so it's not going to be a, tr a cash. A cash deal. Yeah, it won't be a cash transaction. And then let's look at what also what it says. It says the deal marries two of the largest credit card companies that aren't banks first, like JP Morgan mm -hmm. Chase and Citigroup. With the notable exception of American Express, it also brings together two companies whose customers are largely similar, mm -hmm. often Americans wow. who are looking for cash back or modest travel rewards compared to the premium cards dominated by Amex, City, and Chase. Mm -hmm. So you know what they're saying? It's like it's an income gap. Yes. You know, Capital One and Discover are the bulk of America, mm -hmm. whereas, you know, Chase, Amex, and Citigroup are the upper echelon who are people are looking for premium premium services premium trips you know premium uh concierge and, and, and they pay a premium price they are so they're also saying hey let's bring these two conglomerates together yeah. and you know make it a you know get put some things together for the everyday person that's not you yeah. know in that higher tier but now before you say that gloria we have heard some reports that Capital One is talking about coming out with a black card. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I think yeah. I think they're going to have some premium stuff for the everyday American. Yeah, Marvin, very good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marvin, let's do a quick recap okay. and go over a couple of, you know, important details. All right. You know, now that Capital One and Walmart have shut down that relationship, if you have a Walmart card, make sure that you're still paying that bill every month because yeah. you're still liable for that and you would hate for your credit to go bad but exactly. be on the lookout for your new quicksilver credit card and i want to make sure that you do know that you know i i saw some comments where you know some customers were asking what if i already have a quicksilver card right. well you can go into your capital one portal and you may be able to change that quicksilver card over and upgrade it to another card right and also remember guys Try to get your credit scores up. And if you need help with negative items on your credit, check out a link we have in the description below that can help you raise your credit score because that's the second thing that you'll need besides income. You'll need a higher credit score to get a city, mm -hmm. a Chase, or American Express. Because like when I was young, I ended up getting my credit score up and then guess what? Mm -hmm. I got an Amex card. And I was able to get a business card as well. And don't forget to like and share this video if you don't need it someone else may look and make sure you guys don't get in trouble with the zero percent traps we talk about zero percent a lot on our mm -hmm. channel but we want you guys to take advantage of it 
not get in trouble because you know the zero percent may last for 12 to 18 months but after that guys you may get hit with 26 or 29 percent that is not the purpose of it the purpose of zero percent is to map out okay i got 12 months i'm gonna yeah. pay this off before 12 months okay guys i have a gym okay i want to make sure that i drop that gym for you check out the capital one go into your capital one portal mm -hmm. and make sure that you look at some of those cards that give you those points where you can travel for free the venture you, card yeah you yeah. can move those points over so just because capital one have shut down this relationship with walmart don't sleep on capital one because it may be able to get you to where you're trying to go and realize with some of the lower capital one cards you got to look where, where it says excellent good or fair if your credit goes to excellent don't try to upgrade to get the other card just reapply for the new card because a lot of times you know they call them buckets capital one yes. has buckets and you'll get stuck in the bucket thinking that they're going to give you an increase or they're going to mm -hmm. upgrade you to the next card their business doesn't work like that you just have to apply for the next card if you want to know about the five best travel cards check out this next video i'm mr smith and i'm mrs smith and, and we're, we're here to help, help empower, empower your, your finances, finances.